I'm stuffing my face with peanut butter, so I don't want to show everyone. That's why I'm, I don't have the video on right now. So I'm starving though. hey guys how are you hello 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 how are you how are you hi christy <laughs> i hated hanging up on you i wanted to tell everybody else to hang up <laughs> all right hi tammy all right and amanda and ashley boop, boop. all right um just give them a few minutes for everybody else to get on um i am excited how is the five dollar kit going for you guys five dollar virtual my team anybody, anybody? what tammy I've got, I've got five on my team already five new ones that's awesome that's awesome so what are your word choices that you think are working i posted mine in the champion page but just pitching it like a Costco membership and you know, like you can get this discount for five bucks. Now I'm trying to recruit people that want to sell though. So I'm trying to not give that to everyone or pitch it that way to everyone, but I have two new ones. And then a couple of my um, team members have a couple new as well. So I know that they may just want the discount right now, but you know, eventually they, they may want to sell as well. Yeah. Well, Ashley, I came in for the discount. So I don't have anything. I don't that have anything. That worked out well for you. Yes, it did, didn't it? I, I, we were so broke. I couldn't, I couldn't afford everything I wanted. And um, when they told me I could sign up and I could get the opportunity, and I borrowed the money from my mom to do that so that I could pay her back, and um, worked out good for her, didn't it? <laughs> Since she lives with me now. <laughs> um, but I honestly that is i don't have any hesitation for people coming in for that in fact jenny had two recruits already from your from the several that have come in that came in and told her they were only coming in for the discount and have already asked her now how i set up my page and i did this and i did this and jenny's like i thought you came in for the discount well my mom said i shouldn't be stupid <laughs> and so yeah once they get them in the door, maybe they'll want more. And I've always said that, I still believe it. So anybody else have anything good news to say about your recruiting this week? Okay, anybody else have struggled? Do you, be, I'll be honest with you, have you tried and it's not working? Tell me. Okay, so here's the thing. Jenny made a couple of memes, I made a couple of memes, putting it out there, letting people know. Um, actually, Jenny was willing to pay the five dollars so she put it out there that uh free opportunity this weekend's on wednesday and uh so um what would your what your meme say uh let me sponsor you oh yeah yeah let me sponsor you join tupperware for free however the three people that have answered that have all paid the five dollars yeah they were like no you're not going to pay my five dollars i was like okay <laughs> And the wine lady bought the $60 kit. She said, so what do I get for this $5? I said, nothing. I said, <laughs> she was like, what? And I said, well, you get the website. So we already talked about the website and you know all that. And she goes, but like Tupperware, what do I get for the $5? I said, you don't get Tupperware. She goes, is that my only choice? And I said, no, we have a $60 one that you get Tupperware. She goes, well, I want that. <laughs> it's like, oh. but 
yeah, most everybody that I've talked to wants the discount, but in so, like while you're getting all the information to put them in the computer, I just keep talking about the fact that, you know, listen, if you decide to get, I always start with, if you decide to give your sister or your mom or something this discount, you know, you can do that. If you're mad at your sister that day, you can make her pay full price and you get the 25%. And they're like, huh? <laughs> so, and then it opens up a conversation to how they can do it as a business. So. Jenny's word choices are dynamic. I'm not kidding. She's really, really good. So if you ever want word choices or you're just stuck, <laughs> She's your girl. She should call her. All right. Um, so what I liked so much about Jenny's idea um, that we kind of came up with together <laughs> is, um, you know, you want it? Not that I find it. Hold on. I know you could doing. because honestly, I probably deleted it. All right. Yeah. It's it's what you guys have seen us do before, right? The yellow before so join my team virtual kit free um and so it is just it ends on it just says it right there ends august the 19th and she put this on her personal vip group uh just to try to get attention everybody loves the word free it gets a lot of attention and honest to god five dollars if you end up paying five dollars for five or six people that's okay because oh my goodness even if they buy their samples and buy you know, uh, get a discount on their favorite things. Trust me, they wouldn't do it for free even if they, by giving their credit card and giving all their information, if they didn't want some Tupperware. So you got to look at it that way too. And $5 is an awesome deal, but free gets attention. So, um, and a guy signed up in from uh, Maryland, Indiana, Indiana. Um, and he um, has a partner and he says, well, I'm not going to do this unless somebody helps me run a Facebook party. And she's like, okay. <laughs> oh, the other thing she did, she had a lady that was buying some Tupperware from her and she literally wrote up two different order forms. One was the order form with the lady's consultant discount, pay $5 and then get your discount. And the other one was a regular order form. Super smart, right? So if you have anybody that buys Tupperware today or tomorrow, why not? Two order forms, show them both ways. She saved money on a $20 order. So it's not like they have to be ordering a ton of stuff for that to work. And I handed her the one with the shipping and everything else for the $19 order. And then I just left the other one lay on the table in front of her. And she goes, what's that? I said, oh, well, that's that $5 thing I was telling you about. That's what you'd save if you did that. She up, she goes, so why wouldn't I do this? I said, I have no idea why you wouldn't. And she was like, let's do this instead. I said, okay, that's fine. And she had her four-year-old with her who wanted every thing in the book. She was like, mom, look, superheroes, mom, look, frozen, mom, look. And I was like, you're going to save a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So those are great ideas. Uh, we wanted to get you 20 ways to be mentally tough. And, um, you know, honestly, I, um, I love this call. <laughs> I have to tell you, this is like my favorite call every week. I can't wait for every one of you to be a director with us. I'm super pumped about that. Um, but, you know, being a director sometimes takes mental toughness, okay? And so we wanted to have a little bit on 20 ways to be mentally tough um, that we have to, uh, together. It's is uh, John Gordon. You know, he's our fave, all right? Um, but when you face a setback, think of a defining moment. Think of it as a defining moment that you'll look at in your future to help you um, uh, with your accomplishments. And let me just share something with you. That is something that... I, I will tell you, there were so many times when I was struggling with the business and uh, somebody would say, my bestie would say to me, yeah, but you know what? Because you're going through this, someday when somebody else goes through this, you can say, hey, this is what I did. And it's true. When you get through something, it's, you learn from it. You use it as learning experiments and experience. And you can always say, hey, <laughs> this is how I felt and this is what I did. <laughs> All right. And so always everything can be have a, a silver lining all right number two number two when you encounter adversity remember the best don't just face adversity they embrace it knowing that it's not a dead end but a detour to something greater and better so when i think about stuff like this i think about how i would react if my kids came home and something was not going well for them 
I would try to help them see the upside, no matter what it was. You know, if you, for a couple of them, if you made JV instead of varsity, and I'd be like, you know, so what? They will move you up just practicing better and look, you know, look how much better you're going to look because you're good playing with the JV kids than you would if you were sitting on the bench with the varsity kids. So it's, it's just like a mindset, honestly. It's just something that you have to wrap your head around and look for the positive part of whatever's going on. All right. And number three is when you face negative people, know that the key to staying positive is the fate to face uh, in the face of negativity. It's easy to be positive when everything's positive, but when things are negative and you can rise above it, that is strength and that is mental toughness. And that's what I'm asking you to develop. Just learn the, the you know, in, when you hear negative, come back with positive and, you know, always have your cup half full and not half empty because people will use the craziest things to, to attack and to, and sometimes it's because they want attention. And so if you give them attention, they can, they'll clean up their act and not be so negative. But I always felt that if somebody's really asking for attention, the best thing to do is give it to them. You know, maybe they don't get it from home and so forth. And so even if it's negative, sometimes it's just because they want to have some reason to contact you so that you can be their friend and they're lo really looking for friendship. Okay. And so when it's negative, overcome with positive. All right. Okay. When you face the naysayers, remember the people who believed in you and spoke positive words to you. So think about somebody that always told you you could do this. And you guys, if you can't think of anybody, if nothing comes to mind, call one of us. We'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm looking at this picture or these people. I can't think of anything that I couldn't think of something positive to tell them all. So. Uh, about you, uh, for sure. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Yep. All right. And then um, the next one is kind of like the same as she just read. When you face critics, remember to tune them out and focus only mm. on being the best you can be. And it's so very true. You know, like, honest to God, you're not going to be, have, every day is not going to be your best day. Okay. Duh. <laughs> but every day, every day you can be the best you can be that day. And so, um, but yes, it's, you don't, you don't absorb, don't let that absorb. And I have to tell you, uh, and please remember this one. I want you every morning to put um, baby oil on your shoulders. <laughs> so when people attack you, nothing sticks, it all falls off. All right? Be like the duck, nothing sticks. All right. The duck, the water comes on, it can be raining like crazy, nothing sticks. All right. It just rolls right off. And I always love that. Be the duck. All right. Quack, quack. I'm coming back. <laughs> Even in the bad times. All right. Um, okay. Six. When you wake up in the morning, take a morning walk of gratitude and prayer. It will create a fertile mind ready for success. So here's something I started doing not too awful long ago. I, I journal a lot. It's just a thing I do. And I was journaling at night, every night. And when I went back and read it, a lot of that was things that had happened during the day that weren't so good or that had upset me. And I'd reread them and I'd get mad all over again, right? So now I've started doing it in the morning. And I, I journal about how I want my day to be and what I want to have by the end of the day. And it's a whole other thing. So even if at the end of the day, when I read it, if I didn't do it all, at least there's some positive things in there and I'm not going back and rereading how somebody made me mad or something like that, because that doesn't do me any good and it doesn't do anybody else any good. So. All right, number seven, uh, when you fear trust, let your faith be stronger and greater than your doubt. And guys, Fear and trust do not coexist. So you cannot ever, ever, ever have fear and be trusting. And so if you are trusting in your potential and trusting in your future and trusting in your maker, then you can't have fear. And so if you're feeling fear, you've got to realize and give yourself a checkup from the neck up because you're losing your trust. Okay. Number eight, when you fail, find the lesson in it and then recall a time when you have succeeded. That's pretty self-explanatory, guys. Things aren't going right. Think about something that went right and go with that. When you're headed into battle, visualize your success. And you know, that is so powerful. I want every one of you to right now, okay? I want you to visualize. It is the 26th of August and it is 9.30 and 
you just hit director. How do you feel? You need to visualize it. You need to close your eyes. You need to see it happen. You need to hear what your husband says to you. Good job, babe. All right. You need to, <laughs> you need to hear what your, you know, your best friend says to you. You need to hear what your director says to you. You need to visualize that. You need to hear it. You need to believe it. You need to see it happen and it will happen. And it's just a matter of breaking it down to bite-sized pieces. And I'm telling you right now, you may not know the man, the girl that comes into this business and becomes a director, a manager in the week and a half that you have left. It could be somebody brand new today. It could be somebody brand new tomorrow. I've seen it happen before and it can happen again. And she may be on your team right now. I want you to know you visualize it and you make it happen. And everybody here can make it happen. We have another sale coming. We have a big sale next week, okay? All right. Okay. When you're thinking about the past or worrying about the future, instead focus your energy on the present moment. The now is where your power is the greatest. That's totally true. There isn't anything you can do about anything that happened yesterday or any time before that. And you sure can't control what's gonna happen tomorrow or any time in the future, but you got right now and you can take care of business right then and there. All right, number 11. Um, this is mine and Alan's uh, little personal <laughs> between the two of us. I will tell you, we are really, uh, this is our ne nemesis. It's like, this is our pet peeve and it drives us crazy. But when you have a complaint, instead of complaining, identify a solution. When people come to me with complaints, and all they want to do is I just want to go <laughs> and Ellen and I make a point. If there's an issue or we have a complaint, we figure out a solution to present so that how we can fix this. All right. And so she always does it to me. And like, if she comes and says, Hey, our attendance is dropping on rally. We need to do something. I was thinking about this and that's the exact way she would come to me about an issue. And I want to teach you that is the best thing you can do, no matter where you're at in life or who, if it's a family thing with your husband, with your kids, you know, I noticed your room's really a mess. And I have an idea that if you clean your room, I will make chocolate chip cookies your favorite and I'll let you help. And so have a solution. Mm. And so it can be better for everybody around you. Okay. All right. I got to give some of these guys a heads up. If you are in Ellen's org, which a lot of you are, yeah, that's going to be what she tells you when you go to her with that stuff. So you can call her and start to say something and she'll go, hey, you know what? I'm going to give you 15 minutes. Call me back with how we can fix this. And then she hangs up. <laughs> and it's like, oh. I so, love it. <laughs> heads up. <laughs> yes, that is, that is, Ellen and I both agree with that 100%. We're so so into that. Okay, go. It's your turn. Okay, when your own self-doubt crowds your mind, weed it and replace it with positive thoughts and positive self-talk. Yeah, you really do have to be your own biggest cheerleader sometimes because sometimes things happen and you're the only person that's around to talk you up and to talk you out of the bad stuff. So just hide some things in the back of your mind that you can use to pump yourself up if you need to and you're by yourself. Okay, when you feel distracted, Focus on breathing, observe your surroundings, clear your mind, get in the zone. And the zone is not a random event. It's something that can be created. When you are feeling distracted and you're feeling unfocused, I want you to do again, visualize the success that's going to happen on August the 26th at 930. And you can set up your own time. You can say, I'm doing it by five. You can set up your own time. But I'm just telling you, visualize the success. And Tammy, you're in month one. So are you in month two? Are you in month two? Okay. So you're looking at the end of September. I want to tell you the smartest thing you girls are doing is getting this done and coming out this month because next month is five weeks. And because there's five weeks, you're going to move a lot of people up to manager. So you could easily have five managers next month and have that out of your way so that you're very well grounded in your walk to your big wow trip. 
it's super smart to come out this month. This is the month. I mean, if you sit down and do a business plan, this is, if you would have sat down and done a business plan with me at the beginning of January, I would have said, this is the month you have to come out. In the month of August, if you do um, June, July, and August, when you come out in August, you're going to have a five-week September, and then you're going to go into October. You're going to get paid on a five-week September, and then you turn around and get paid in October. And I also want to share something with you that's super, super important. Your managers will not be managers to help you become a director. I'm sorry. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your mom, all right? Your managers will become managers because it's better for them. And so you've got to go first person benefit and you've got to realize, you know, Mary Beth, I just wanted to share with you, when you hit your manager's numbers this month, you are going to get a gift from Pam and Jim. It's a hundred dollars worth of Tupperware. And it's awesome, all right? Because when you hit that, you get a hundred dollar grab bag of swag. It's going to be Tupperware. It's going to be, I made that for you guys. I'm not kidding. I created that promotion thinking, how can I help my director, my DIQs promote to director this month? I'm creating a promotion. I'm giving every single manager that gets titled in her title, every, every leader titled in her title, plus I think it has to be $500 more. Unless they're just stepping up, I think. But Unless I they're know. just stepping up. So 2,500 for anybody brand new, they get in on the uh, $100 swag bag from Pam and Jim. And they also get in on the drawing if they have another, uh, the drawing for the $100 Amazon card if they have an, um, they'd have to do 3,000 and, yeah. and one recruit and for recruit. that. Yeah. Yes, did you have a question? Mixed Galaxy 520G, 5G? <laughs> Carrie Rubicki. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a question? <laughs> no, okay. No, 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 no. All right, so, so seriously, find in the first person benefit. That's why they'll move up. Find something in it for them. When they do this, they're going to get paid. They're going to get the $100 drawing. They're going to get the $100 swag bag from Pam. And they go into a five-week month with a big title. And that a five-week month is huge because everybody makes lots of goals in five weeks. When you feel all is impossible, know that with God, all things are possible. That is just something that everybody should live by and know and not doubt. So... I don't think you can improve on that. There's just nothing else to say. <laughs> wow. And when you feel alone, think of all the people who've helped you along the way and who love and support you. You can think of Jenny. You can think of me. <laughs> you can think of Ellen. You can think of Nancy. Um, you know what? You can think of Loretta. She just ran a recruiting event and, you know, she did it for the whole org. We care very much about your success. And when you succeed, we succeed. And when we all share the work, and this is the best thing about being a director, we share the load. And so when you become a director, you can jump in. You don't have to take anything over right away. But if you want to, Kelly has been really good about saying, I'll do this, I'll do that. And that's great because literally everything that a director has to do could be overwhelming. But if, if Ellen's doing this and, and Lydia's doing this and, and uh, Jessica's doing this and, and Pam's doing this and, you know, we have it all spread out, it's super easy. And nobody has to do all of it. We just break it up. <laughs> and, every, and there might be something totally new that you come in and say, hey, we could really use this in the team and this would really be helpful. And we'll create that. And that would be awesome. We okay. can't give it to the Angelas. There's four of them. I know. <laughs> Angela. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, when you feel lost, pray for guidance. And I don't know what everybody's spiritual situation is, but there is something you can do. There is, you know, someone you can talk to. Praying for guidance is an amazing thing and it always helps. Um, but just, you know, even if you just have to clear your own head, if, if that's what you believe needs to happen, but take the time. If you start to feel lost, don't go down the rabbit hole with that. Stop and just take a deep breath and go back to the zone. I mean, seriously, just, you know, bring yourself out of it before you go any farther down there. Okay. And when you, um, <laughs> when you are tired and drained, remember to never, never, never give up. Finish strong in everything you do. I could sing the song. My mom always sang me, but I will keep you. <laughs> she always sang a song to me um, and never give up and all this other stuff. And it was so cute. But I just want to share with you that when I, I've quit 
I have quit Tupperware. Did you guys know that? Uh, like 20,000 times, <laughs> okay? And every time I quit, I know, go to bed, Pam. <laughs> you just need to go to bed because that, and you know what? It's okay. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to be frustrated, but you just never quit. You never really quit, <laughs> all right? And you might get really frustrated and, and just feel like you're at your wit's ends and this is crazy. Why am I doing this? And then you remember really why you are doing it because of what you're creating for your family and what your potential is. And I want to tell you, when I joined Tupperware, I had no idea. I had no idea that I could make six figures and it didn't need to start with a one. I, had, I God bless it. I had no idea I'd go to 32 countries. I had no idea I'd send my boys to college and my daughter to college, no hardship, hardship on the family. I just didn't, I didn't see that. God saw it. And I have to tell you, when I was 23 and joined Tupperware, I really wasn't this smart, okay? I, I, I'll be the first to tell you that it was God's wisdom that put me here and God's wisdom that's kept me here. And I absolutely delight in helping other women find financial freedom. That has got to be the biggest joy I have in my life. Uh, well, my grandkids maybe, but <laughs> it is certainly right up with, with absolutely gives me joy to see you not struggle financially, to see you set big goals and make it happen, to see you take your kids to Disney, to see you pay off credit cards. When Loretta paid cash for a truck for her husband, I mean, that is so inspiring for me to know that she's been able to create that because of what we've created at Champion. All right. Um, when you feel like your situation is beyond, nope, that's not it. When you yeah. feel like you can't do it, Know that you can do all things through him who gives you strength. I don't know about you guys. Sometimes I just get to the point where I think I cannot do this anymore. Not necessarily Tupperware, just sometimes life in general. Um, you know, I just can't handle it. I can't do it. And then I remember that it's not up to me. Okay, because if it was up to me, I'd have quit a long time ago. I, it, it just wouldn't, I wouldn't have even been at this point because it would have been over years and years and years ago. So just remember that that's where to go for your strength, okay? It's not, not necessarily the person beside you or a girlfriend that's going to go, oh, you're right, you can't do this. Go to the one person that loves you more than anything that will tell you, yes, you can. And when you feel your situation is beyond control, pray and surrender. Focus on what you can control and let go of what you can't control. I, I, I know that everybody hates the song, Let It Go. I love the song, Let It Go. Because when I feel like it's coming down on me, I just start belting it out. <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> I do. It and, and be crazy, <laughs> be crazy. And you know, the release that it gives you, you can't control everything. I can control how I react. I can't control shipping, but I can control how I react to it. I can't control somebody upset about shipping, but I can say, I'm really sorry. And I know that you care about the fact that we're trying really hard to keep everybody safe. And I just want to apologize. This is, uh, this is astronomical. This is something that's never happened in my 38 years. I've never seen this. And I just want to apologize. And so what can we do to make your situation better? I will look right now and see what date they're on for shipping. I will find out from my director. I will find out from my business leader and see if there's anything I can do. Um, but I, I will tell you that I'll get back with you later on this afternoon when I get a response from them. And um, I'm hoping that I get really good news for you. Is that okay? And just be sincere, be real. You can't control them, but you can control you. And when you are sincere and you speak from the heart and you apologize, it's okay to apologize. And you, I know Jenny has been calling her people before they call her. She calls them and says, hey, listen, I noticed that your order is still hasn't shipped out from the factory and it's due to the COVID and all the restrictions that we have to deal with. And I just wanted to send you a couple of recipes with some products I think you already have that maybe you might enjoy. And so check out my email. And you know, how sweet is that? That's thinking ahead, you know, before they get upset. All right. Okay. When you're in a high pressure situation and the game is on the line and everyone is watching you, remember to smile, have fun and enjoy it. Life is short. You only live once. You've got nothing to lose. 
seize the moment. What a perfect way to end. I know, that's just so Because true. you are gonna step up this month, several of you, most of all of you um, can step up this month. And you know what I love about, about this month is, is what I know to come, all right? And so I feel like maybe you need to know what's coming, all right? And so I wanna treat you like directors tonight and I wanna give you some heads up information. Is that okay? Okay, and so next week, Tabra is going to have a big sale, all right? And, um, oh, I gotta find my notes. Okay, so next week, Tupperware is gonna have a big sale. So you can count on Thursday waking up to a sale, all right? And it's, um, it's going to be in the, I can't tell you what it is, because honestly, they could change it, all right? Um, but I will tell you that what they're looking at is something where uh, another thing that you might be able to sell to, uh, first um first line what do they call those people <laughs> first responders first responders all right it's really a cool thing that you could do that with all right um and it's something that's that you're gonna have never really had the opportunity to do that with and you'll have that opportunity um and so that's really cool and i can i can just tell you i feel like um, somebody could easily sell a thousand dollars next week um, by selling only this product. Awesome. Okay. So that's how good I feel about it. All right. Okay. So I just want to give you peace in mind that sales can happen. Keep working with what you have right now and the whip it. Keep working with that. Oh my goodness. You don't have to have a whole, whole, whole bunch of people to buy that to have some great success out of it. Seriously, because it's $49. If 10 people buy it, you've got a $500 party, all right? And so keep working with that because that doesn't end until Friday. And I, well, actually, did they tell you it ends this week? No, they said they were counting the sales this week. Okay, they are counting the sales week this week and that will end, but it's, it's staying open through the catalog, all right? So they're not closing that uh, for one week and then opening it, okay? And then, um, okay, so today we had the... Uh, the flash sale, which is awesome. Uh, how many of you needed lunch bags for people and people are asking for lunch bags? So that's really cool. Um, and so that is fun. And that's just like a five day generizer. It, uh, and they do expect that lunch run out so fast. So they told us, now one may run out. I don't know which one's gonna run out, which one's gonna last, but they told us they felt like it was pretty solid. All right. And then, um, and then in September, you're going to have in week one, you're gonna have a $200 driver. And so everybody that sells $200 is gonna get this gift. You know how that always helps you, all right? So you're gonna have a $200 driver in week one. In week two is the close of the flyer. So we really don't usually need anything that week to actually build sales and push sales because that's when the flyer will close with the, um, the clear mates and stuff like that, all right? And the pressure cooker. In week three, there's gonna be another $200 activity driver. Mm-hmm, that's awesome. And week four, there's gonna be a team week focus. And so there's gonna be a push for that week too and an all activity driver. And then um, also in September, you can count on September 19th as being our record breaker workshop. And it's gonna be virtual. We're gonna do everything virtually online. And so I would love it if you guys would volunteer because you'll be directors then. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> and you'll be directors then. And so when you're directors, you can certainly volunteer to take a half an hour training because we're, everybody doesn't have to be on all day, but we'll do everybody doing a Zoom and then we'll pull them, we, we, we'll um, actually record them. People can jump on the Zooms. They don't have to jump on the Zooms, um, but people can jump on for your training. But if nobody's on, you still do the training and then we record it and we pop it on and we'd really appreciate that. That would be super fun and super great. And then uh, this, uh, the 24th is Datathon. And so if you've been with Record Breaker before, you know what a Datathon is. You call all your datings in for October and you get them all geared up uh, and you get your team doing that too because there'll be drawings and some fun going on with that. And then the 26th of September is what's called a 3D day. And so we'll be asking everybody to go on um, and that's a digital demo day. And so I wanna ask you guys to start doing more digital demos anyways, because so goes the leader, so goes the team. And when you start doing more digital demos, your team will too. And just literally, that is how 
it's it's all about soft sales and i think everybody here was on uh jubilee oh my goodness guys get back in there and watch and rewatch and rewatch and rewatch all those videos and all that training because that stuff was amazing but it's all about the soft sell today's generation you've got to do sales before uh service before sales and um and you know it's interesting to me that that's how we brought um got ellen started in the first place and most of you know that story when she called me and said i can't sell i can't date i don't know what you're going to do with me and i said girl you've got what i can't give you and that's what mama gave you and that's people skills and i can teach you to sell and i can teach you to date and she says well all of my friends i don't know what to do i can't go to my friends because i've sold two other things or three other things i forget what it was and because she sold other things she felt like she couldn't go to them for something else and so i said how about you go with the service approach you call them and say, hey, I've been hired by Tupperware and I'm really excited about being a trainer. And this week I am supposed to learn the defective line. And so how to do defectives, how to, how to process all this. Do you have anything broken I can get? Because I need to do broken Tupperware. <laughs> anything cracked, split, peeled, chipped or broken. And her friends were like all over it. They're like, well, let me look. And I don't know if I have anything. Let me look. Let me see if my mom has something. And so she was collecting broken Tupperware. But what she really was doing is saying, hey, I sell Tupperware now, <laughs> all right? And so it was a nice way to say, I'm doing Tupperware now. So if you need Tupperware, you need to call me. And so when she started getting a uh, product from people and they would call and say, I got something together for you. Good. How much you have? Well, I got my this and so-and-so's this. And so, oh, perfect. Why don't we get together and um, I'll bring it all. And that way I don't have to charge anybody. Let's set a time where we can do a virtual party. And that way, when I do a virtual party with you, I can ship these items with their order for no charge. Now, isn't that a great idea for today's market? It's perfect, all right? And so looking for service, how can I service my customers? How can I service my circle of friends? How can I be the influencer? And you know, that's what today's market is. Your job today is not selling Tupperware. Your job is to be an influencer. Use the cup, use the product, take a picture with you with the product and put it up there on Facebook, off to the grocery store. Can't wait, mom's going with me. And you know, picture with you and mom and mom's got her cup, you got your cup, influencer. People think, oh yeah, she always carries that cup. I wonder if she likes that. Or making dinner. Mom and I are making grilled cheese sandwich in the grill today. I love it because I don't have to worry about mom burning herself so easy. Influencer 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 instead of selling the grill i influence with look how easy we can do it in five minutes mom loves it and you know even the influencer you saw us put it's got 250 likes of the picture of the four of us with my mom on the picture and my story about mom loving jubilee that's an influencer okay that's reminding people that i sell tupperware reminding people that tupperware can be gotten through me Reminding people that I run a Tupperware organization and a team. Reminding, reminding, influence, influence, influence. And yes, you don't constantly do that without going in and showing the product or giving the people the idea. But the sales needs to be 20% and the influence needs to be 80%. And honestly, every picture you put up of your family and kids can be tied to somehow. Love taking the night off this evening. We're going putt-putt or we're playing games tonight because of um, the great week I've had, we're just kind of celebrating the Tupperware business and taking a family night. Everything can be tied around influencing. All right, good. Do you like having the, head, the heads up? Okay, let me just tell you, that's kind of like a director call on Thursday morning, get secrets, okay? And so when you become a director, you're gonna be invited into the Slack group, which is all the directors chatting all the time. What's working on your team? This is what I'm doing. Hey, I tried this. This really was got a lot of responses. You also are going to be added to our director call on Thursday morning. And if you cannot make the Thursday morning director call, we really, really, really want you on there. But when you can't make it, it's okay. We're just gonna ask you to listen to the recording and we make those available for those who are not able to get on the call, okay? 
Uh, it's not something I post anywhere. We do have a director Facebook page too. We'll add you to. We don't use it a lot, but we use it a little. We're really getting good at Slack, all right? And so if you don't have Slack yet, yeah, get it. So it's easy to pop you in there, all right? And Slack is S-L-A-C-K, all right? Anybody have any questions? I don't really have a question, just a comment. I needed this today. I was kind of at that mid-month looking at my numbers, going, you know, where am I going? Getting frustrated, just nervous, all that kind of happening right now. Yeah. So I needed all these tips. Thank you. You are so welcome. And you know what? I also wanted to give you a hope of your future. And that's why I gave kind of gave you your business plan of what's coming. And uh, I know myself, if I know there's a really big sale coming, I, I don't quit now, but I also feel like, yes, yes, you don't need to wait till Thursday morning all the time. Oh, mommy's moving again. You don't need to wait till Thursday morning all the time um, to get things from me. If you're, you know, you guys all literally, every single one of you, this is, this is your hotline to me. You text me, you call me, anything you need from me. And I know you all have great directors, but you know, there, you just need to understand that once you um, become a director and even right now, anything you need from me, absolutely anything. I know Christy and I talk often um, and, you know, in chats, like, what are you doing? How's it working? You know, stuff like that. But all of you can feel very confident working with me. I did want to know what your team names are going to be because I actually want to do um, get my stuff ready for next, you know, for September and for next week. And I thought it would really be fun for next week if you guys could be added on the directors list, like you are really a director. We'll put your DIQ name there. But um, I did get, um, I got Carrie's. Um, I think I, yeah, she is like unstoppables. All right. And uh, gold diggers. I love that, Ashley. It's so cute. Um, of course, we have Melissa's because Melissa's is a director. And so uh, Christy and Amanda and Katja and Tammy. So as soon as you, if you need ideas, I have a sheet of all kinds of ideas. I typed up one time when I'm just playing with ideas and it might spark something in you for an idea. Okay. I think I sent it to Katja. Um, I if I was Katja, mine. I'd just be the Germans. I know <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> What's that? Amanda? You, what is it, Amanda? Rise and shine. Oh, I love it. I can sing for you. <laughs> Again. I can sing for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys can do a duet. That'll be great. <laughs> Isn't that a church song, Rise and Shine? And give God, God the glory. Yeah, 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 that's a church that's song. Something to do with Noah's Ark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We know all the same songs. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go, Melissa. It's so funny because Jenny and I, we're raised, I mean, we didn't know each other until seven years ago. And it's so funny because we were both raised in the church and we know all the same songs. It's hysterical. It's so funny. We uh, vacation Bible school is vacation yes! Bible school. I don't care That's where you're true. at. That's, so true. You're That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. All right. All right. So anybody else have a team name you can give me? Your new company yeah. name you'll choose and send in to uh, Tupperware. I can't believe I don't have any Amandas in my and uh, and other directors. We have a lot of Angelas, but Amanda's kind of a popular name, so we're excited to have you, Amanda. All right. You don't have any catches either, do you? No, I love the name Katja too. I say Katja. Is it Ketcha or Katja? Katja. Katja. Yeah. Okay. You All right. Mine. Christy, what is yours? Pepper Angels. Oh yes, I do have yours, Christy. Yes. I love it. All right. Hey, hey, I'm actually in Ohio right now. You what? I'm in Ohio right now. Where are you at? I don't know. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. You look like you're in a cabin. <laughs> I am. A bunch of animals hanging on the wall. Yeah. Oh. Fort Clinton. You're kidding. Wow. Fort Clinton. Fort Clinton is not far, girl. Yeah. I know. I talked to Ellen. We're going to get together probably tomorrow. Yeah. Port Clinton is kind of close to, um, isn't it closer it's to? right by Helen Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. Kelly and Ashley. Yeah. Right. Oh, really? Oh, okay. really? Ashley says you're 20 minutes away. There oh, wow. Yeah. It's probably close to Tammy, too. Tammy, how far are you from Port Clinton? 
Yeah, I'm a little way. About I'm I'm probably about forty five minutes. Forty five. Yeah. Okay. Fun. What are you doing there? Is it a dog show? Yeah. Hey, cool. I miss, my, I miss my hubby, so I had to come see him. Oh, uh, I want pictures. You guys send me pictures. Okay. I love it. All right. Okay. All right. So we're like we're waiting on Koch's name. Okay. So we, Tammy, we're waiting on your name and Koch. Oh, I, my name is Hawk's Nest. Oh, that's so cute, Tammy Hawk and the Hawk's Nest. Okay. We were married on Hawk's Nest Beach. Oh yeah, yeah. There she is. Look at her face and everything. Oh my gosh, how pretty are you, girl? Do you have a name yet, Katja? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Katja and I are both German, so I say, but she has a pretty accent, and I don't. I keep telling her that she should that she should make it a German name. Yes. And she goes, nobody would be able to pronounce it. I said, well, they can't pronounce your name anyway, so not being able to pronounce the <laughs> name would not be a big deal. Yeah. So you could say something like that you want, like, I don't know. I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you could say big shit in German. We would know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, she's the big that's funny. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> oh, you Carrie, Carrie came off you for that. Look at <laughs> that's funny. I needed that. That's good. <laughs> that oh my. <laughs> Gosh. I hope your kids went around, guys. Sorry. <laughs> No. Oh, too funny. All right. Well, keep thinking, Katja. We need that. All right. So hey, we can be ready. You guys with little kids, I was talking to somebody today and I said something about, well, that's just stupid. And their child the was on the phone and he was like, we don't say that word. No. I was like, sorry. Oh. <laughs> it could have been so much worse. You just don't realize it. <laughs> yeah. Apparently that's not a good word. Yeah. Mm. Jessica wouldn't let the kids say stupid either when they were little. I wasn't talking about anybody. It was just a thing. Yeah. And I said, that's stupid. And yeah. yeah, but no. That's the S word. Yeah, I, yeah that's what the kid said. He goes, that's it. We don't use the S word. <laughs> and I had to think. I was like, what just came out of my mouth? <laughs> what just came out of my mouth? <laughs> Damn it. Did I say the S word? <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been fun and we even laughed. I love it. All right. So see you next Monday and that'll be our fun Monday when we're going to be celebrating really big success and you'll be knowing your totals and so close. All right. And so everybody, let me know where you're at, what you want. I always look at your numbers, but you know, I can't tell, hey, I've got this because I've got so-and-so doing this and so-and-so doing that. And next week when the cell comes out, you'll be super pumped and excited. And I'll be with you. Pumped and excited. All right. All, All right. right. Guys. Thanks so much. Good one. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Let me figure out my cell phone. I'm going to bed right now. I bet I can leave this. Uh, I thought you said you were going to bed right now. I was like, what? <laughs> She didn't get it yet, the list. Who didn't get it? Gotcha. Oh, well, I think I have it on my phone here. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh my God. What'd you do? Amanda Bell's lunch party was $2,100. I saw that. $2, yeah, I saw that. Hi, I'm sorry. I was doing the director, the DIQ call. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Mm. 